he did very well in his early competitions in England, from what I understand. And then um, I, I didn't realise this this actually happened, but there was a, a knock on the door actually in Leeds Correct. from uh, Joe Weeder with a, a contract Correct. Quite, quite early on. So did, did Joe travel to the UK quite regularly and go and search out, um, um, search him out at the I time? believe this happened after the um, 1950 universe where he came second to Steve Reeves by one point. Um, and I digress here because um, uh, Steve Reeves had obviously one of the most classical physiques even for today's standards of all time. Uh, certainly um, a physique that my dad looked up to and I've always admired. Um, and I met him a number of years ago and um, several years before he passed and I wasn't disappointed with how he looked then and the way he carried himself. Um, but at that particular contest, I think it was pretty controversial because many felt that my dad was certainly the more muscular of the two, uh, which I have to agree judging by the photographs. Um, but I think what won Reeves the competition, he was a big name. It was his last contest and he was far more polished with his posing routine, mm -hmm. um, which of course counts for points or did in those days than my dad was. Uh, my dad never was sour about it. In fact, they continued a relationship and a friendship um, after that. But uh, after that particular competition, Joe Weeder was present at the universe from my understanding. And he arrived um, at my, my um, late grandparents' front door and uh, he expressed interest. And of course, uh, he invited my dad to, uh, to the States and my late grandparents bought him this gift of coming to the States for his 21st birthday. And he spent not just the States, but Canada, Hawaii, and he spent at around six months here. Um, he went to um, the Weeders' first um, enterprise office building in, um, in, in uh, New Jersey. And um, he spent time in my, Miami and, of course, California, and he met all the big names at the time. Wow. Uh, he trained for about six months, and he'd made a lot of progress and he came back to the UK 51 and that's when he won his first Mr. Universe. So, so I assume he, he signed with Joe He then. signed a contract with Joe Weeder. What was that What, what was that contract for then? Do you know? The contract was um, for uh, endorsing the Weeder brand. Mm, okay. Um, you know, uh, the Weeder brothers were marketing uh, GNI. You know, they were way ahead of their time. Uh, the Weeder principles, you know the Weeder supplements, the Weeder equipment. So it was all about marketing. Um, unfortunately, the relationship didn't last too long because my late grandfather was soured by him because he claimed that um, he sired Reg Park. And my grandfather took exception to that. And uh, my dad was, you know, young at the time and uh, my grandfather, you know, because of him, uh, the relationship ended, um, but it didn't end the bond and friendship that they had formed because many years later, um, when I came to live here, and in fact, even prior to me coming to live here, uh, my dad became an annual guest at the Mr. Olympia contest, which Arnold used to host. And this is before he started the Arnold Classic. And he ended up being a judge and emceed a number of the Mr. Olympia uh, titles. And then the Weeder Brothers, the IFBB organization, said to him, he can't run the Mr. Olympia every year. So the one year he ran the professional Mr. Universe, which I believe was in 81, shortly after the controversial Mr. Olympia. Um, and, um, uh, sorry, that was uh, 71. And then he started the Arnold Classic, which has been running uh, for over 30 years. Mm. And my parents were annual guests, and my dad was a judge, and again, emceed several shows. So through that, his relationship with Joe Weeder, who was always present, you know, rekindled. And then when, of course, I came to live here, and my parents would come out annually once or twice a year, um, him and uh, 
Joe would always get together and we'd have meals. Mm. So he, he always said, you know, uh, I loved your dad and he used to say I could have made him emperor of Europe. He said, but it wasn't him, it was his father. <laughs> so, you know, that's just the way it went. And then, of course, my dad and his late father started the Reg Park Barbell Company selling equipment throughout the UK, supplements, gym clothing, bags, etc. And they did, they had, uh, they had a, uh, was it a publishing company Magazine, well? right. yes, called the Reg Park Journal, okay. which had several names. But I have the original bound volumes. Started in, uh, it was a monthly magazine, started in 1952, went through uh, 1957. And you'd have people like Steve Reeves, etc., etc., uh, the big names at the time, um, you know, write for the magazine. It was quite a popular magazine. Then, of course, he ultimately moved to South Africa and uh, he started the business in South Africa, but as well as being in the gym business, which he wasn't involved in in the UK. So did that business start after he separated from Joe then? Because yes. like, Joe had the magazine yes. as well, wasn't he? Yes, that business started after the separation. Right, okay. 50, after, I would say after he won his, his first Mr. Universe in 51.